how do you do it is morning here welcome back to the vlog everybody this is how i'm awakened this morning after getting back from deer camp there's a, a squirrel up there that is right by our bedroom that's our bedroom window and uh that is what i woke up to a squirrel trying to get into the attic and Boy, I could use a pellet gun right now. I feel like that's all I've done in the last 48 hours is, is stare at critters, which I don't mind. This one right here, it annoyed me because I got in really late last night. I'm talking like, I probably shouldn't have been driving because I was so tired and I got in, I zonked out, probably could have used a little extra sleep, but old fluffy tail over here decided to just make a uh, concert trying to get in this as you can see he's tired he's ready to pass out he's been clawing so hard mr squirrel you're lucky i don't have a pellet gun and i already have plenty of meat for the freezer although i do enjoy hunting you so watch yourself stay out of my attic that's right y'all just getting back from the deer camps and it was a successful trip we have a nice little texas eight point almost freezing last night so the meat should be just fine open it up yeah smells like smells like deer i still need to get this deer processed y'all so we are going to take him down to the processor i've got one kind of close but this last one i tried the eddie rays my goodness makes the best sausage i'm almost out of my deer sticks and summer sausage and that's the thing that everybody around my family my buddies uh, and myself love and is the perfect springtime boat snack you're cold you're out there you're fishing all day you're hungry bam you break open a deer stick so that's what i'm gonna go do today and i'm gonna take you guys along so let's make a road trip this is emmy's first look at first a, look at a, a white tail this is where your food comes from emmy yeah it goes into mommy's breast milk eventually <laughs> there it is oh yeah he's in there <laughs> that's kind of sad it's not as big as daddy's other deer no yeah. He's gonna be some good sausage though. You've been asking for more sausage. I have. He's cute though. But that's the worst thing you could say. I'm sorry. I mean you have you have a deer like that up in your room. Yes, you yes. do. It has flowers on it though. Yes. Yeah. Your changing table has little does on it too. <laughs> Eddie Ray's, Tanner, and Weston. They are the butcher dudes up there. Such great people, man. I'm just telling y'all, if you want to get your deer processed, you're around Central Texas. I drove about two hours down here just to do it from Dallas, but they are really good. They do regular barbecue. They mix their hamburger meat, if you want, with brisket, which is absolutely delicious too, because deer is normally pretty dry. They're special, which is literally called the Eddie Ray Special. It's the snack sticks, which are right here. Incredible boat snack. Incredible anywhere snack. So anyway, if you guys want to check them out, swing by, try it off Highway 35. Eddie Ray's, man. Deer processing and smokehouse, all in one. Eddie Ray's is good people, man. And one of the guys working in there is a fishing freak. So that ought to tell you enough. Good peeps, man. I'm going to swing by Mullet Man's house because he got two hog skulls that he bleached for me. One of them, we shot them together, actually but he didn't want the other one. So he's gonna take those, find me some driftwood, which is very easy to find right now since everything's flooded, and make me some, some European hog skull mounts. Let's go see what Mullet Man's up to. I hear Cooper. Hey, Coop. Hey. The Mullet Man. What's going on, guys? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Our deers are hanging out together. Yeah, did you see mine? Uh, no, didn't I didn't, know. There was a lot, they had, they had 30 deer in there right now. Rough cut cedar beams, handmade by the mullet man. Not by me. Not by you? Who did these? I don't know, I think my dad made them. I like this. <laughs> There's a hog skull. Put fish down it like this. Like, 
bluegill down here, crappie or bass, and then just like crappie suspended all cool. in the same ecosystem. The mullet man's cave. The mullet cave. It's almost done. Dang. It's getting there. <laughs> How's your cats? Man, I still gotta finish them. Your my, but my, your cats are sitting inside of a bass cat. My pillar is. Oh, you got another one back my, here. My mom got this one for oh. Halloween. Oh. We need to give this to Emmy. It might scare her. Uh, she might not even know what to think about. I that. don't know. Have you heard of these furry fandom type things that go on? That's kind of what that hey, reminds me of. You can put of. this. You can put this on your on your ram mount. I like what you got going on here, buddy. Looks good. Like, I'm excited it's, to see the, the cedar posts. The mullet spear. That's it. Happened last night. Still got blood on her. You speared an animal for real. I did it. Straight up. What Mullet man doing? with a bleach job on the hog skulls. It looked good. Teeth. The wife always loves when I come home with skulls. Just let them ride up yeah, front. Turkey gun. Yeah, the old turkey gun. It's time to check out a Mulletville right now. Uh, Mike's got some special jerky he wanted me to try. He said he got done at Eddie Ray's from his uh, black buck doe, the black buck doe. If you guys remember um, when we were at deer camp with Outlaw, I've always wanted to get one because I know I've heard they're especially delicious. So we're gonna try this jerky right now and see, see how good it is. We about to eat good. Try some. Eddie Ray's special, I wanna try it right now on camera. Ooh, it's actually not, uh, not dried out. Yeah, it's not dried out. They do it right. Look at that peppered up. It's black buck. Go. Straight up black buck. Straight up black buck. Dang gun. You need to go shoot a black buck. Woo! I do. It's good, isn't it? They do it right up there. Like, oh my gosh, it's still like juicy. I like jerky like that. I don't I like. Do. I don't like dried. You know, like jerky. Bucky's jerky? Yeah. It's just like eating paper. Yeah. I'm not down with that. They got good turkey jerky though. Eat good. Thank you, sir. Keep doing what you do, my yeah, man. Drive safe. All right, man. See we'll you. see you. Time to head back to the tree house. Doing my meatly duties for today. Getting the meats. Processing the meats, gathering the meats. I had to run by the store. It's called You Break, I Fix. It's kind of a new thing going on apparently, but I've been without a phone for many days now. Yeah, I haven't been on the grams or anything, y'all, so I apologize, but I dropped my phone in the lake. It was at the boat ramp. It was only like two feet of water. I could literally see it. And then I pick it back up. I'm like, oh, okay, it's an iPhone X. It's supposed to be waterproof, cool. I go on fishing it and then I get out when I'm done to look and it's like pink and green lines all over the screen. So I'm here to tell y'all that an iPhone X actually is not waterproof. And if you try to take it up to Apple and say, hey, you say it's waterproof, how come I dropped it in the water and it's not proof? Then they say, I'm sorry, you have to get a new phone. Let me know in the comments if you have ever had an issue with the waterproofness on the iPhone 10 or X or whatever they want to call it. I mean, I'm a fisherman, I'm like, daggum, I'm all about that waterproofness. Ah, it's always nice to bring home to the fam. What do you think? Well, I'm currently um, in <laughs> exposed. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Dear goodness. I'm gonna do a little dollop on that. One of my favorite things to do with hamburger meat from deer, put it in chili. And I don't really even do it anymore. It's stuff. Boop. Oh, put this with some cornbread and you got yourself a winter meal to keep your bones solidly warm. Or at least feel good anyway. Back when I was a bachelor and I filmed deer hunts and fishing shows for a living that didn't go on my YouTube channel when I was a camera guy. This was my meal of choice right here. Simple, you can eat it for days, and it's a great use of deer. I had deer on hand at all times because I was constantly around deer camp. Super easy, especially if you don't like deer taste, which I don't know why you wouldn't. Tastes like beef, higher protein. Higher protein, you think so? Not higher protein. Okay, the nutritionist, dietitian, RDA, RDN says no. Same amount of protein. Okay, is there any benefits at all or am I just... It's leaner and has more omega-3s. It's leaner and has more omega-3s. Th 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 omega fees? That's <laughs> things you gotta pay when you eat deer. And that's not from me. That's from an actual scientist. Okay? OSG. She's all about that science. More deer. 
happy guts. Well, I'm gonna let you guys go here. I've got a lot of projects to do around the treehouse. Apparently I've gotta patch up a hole where the squirrel's trying to get up in the attic. But I gotta tell you, filling up the freezer with wild game meat does feel good. It's something uh, as an outdoorsman, I look forward to every season. I've never been much of a trophy hunter. I uh, wasn't raised that way. My dad told me I need to I need to cook everything that I shoot. That's how I was raised, and that's pretty much how it's been, except for the occasional hog. I even ate a raccoon once. You maybe eat a raccoon. I'm glad I don't have any raccoons in the freezer. I'm glad it's full of awesome meat. It's just a satisfying feeling knowing that you're uh, you're feeding your family and you know exactly where your meat came from. And lucky for me, I've got OSG and she's always doing interesting and creative things with the meat I bring home. So it is just a absolute win. And I made a new shirt for all you crappie killers out there. Cause the crappie is the most tasty of them all. We all know that. New crappie shirt down below. You guys check it out, support the channel. New vlog coming at you very soon. God bless you. I hope you're having a great day in the outdoors. I'll catch y'all later.